Well, it says we're live. Well, we are live, though. True. Streaming. We're, streaming we're always now. alive. Yeah. Streaming or no streaming. Well, yeah, until we're not. <laughs> Scratch At least for the time being. That, that's it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've got... Um, so I'm, I'm Rand Hoppy, and I'm here with... Tom Kraft, from, <laughs> president yes. of the Jack Kirby Museum and Research we, Center. We and who? Jack... what is your title? Uh, founder. This week. Director. <laughs> You're the president, and yeah, and we have a we, treasurer. We do. That's true. Um, all right, let's go. Let, let, let's 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 move on. Hello, mouse. Um, we are streaming out to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and X. Um, if you're on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch, we'll see. And you make a comment, we'll see the comment, and we'll do our best to respond. X is not interactive with us, so you can watch us, but that's about it. Uh, we'll we'll try to catch up with any comments on that that platform. We catch up, try to catch up with all of our comments after the show. But for all of you, for all you future people, hello, future people. I, we haven't <laughs> mentioned the we haven't welcomed the future people. <laughs> we didn't. In the past, oh, I, I don't think we have. I think we forgot well, about them. Yeah, we did forget about. That's not nice. Michael Hill, we can. We can see it. And we can put it on the screen. And then we can make it go away and bring it back. Oh, my God. I what know. power. What great pushing power. Buttons. <laughs> I'm pushing buttons. <laughs> Lantern Zone. All right, on YouTube. So, yeah. Um, anyhow, so, yeah, we're, we're here. We're, um, we're, we had a skip week. I had a, uh, uh, my sister got married in Virginia on Monday. And so no live stream on Monday. No live stream for all we skipped. So but we're back. And uh we're gonna take a look. We've been running a series. Well we'll see. We you know what this is our episode three of the Eternals from Marvel in the seventies. Uh covering Jack Kirby's work when he went back to Marvel. Um so we are uh, in, currently engaged in a in a project to uh, uh, raise money to build our collections website. Phase one, uh, as we, we've been working behind the scenes, and we're working on phase one, trying to raise money. We are a nonprofit, so we're looking for you know your your support. Um, they are donations. They are tax deductible, as far as we're aware. Check with your tax advisor. We're a five hundred one c three nonprofit. We, our goal is $20,000, and we've raised about 2500 so far. So we're, we're, we're moving along, but we're looking, you know, we got a ways to go. Um, we'd like to thank, thank Diana Mercer. Uh, she's the widow of uh, Steve Sherman, who was um, uh, Jack Kirby's assistant and friend for many years. He was our friend. He used to go to conventions with Mark Badger and Bruce Simon and uh, talk about Jack you know, in front of our banner, and uh, he, he was a good a good pal. He appeared, but he he was on two of our live streams, Tom. I think. Uh, yeah, at least two. two. Yeah, at least I think two. Right. The it could have been the twenty seventeen, uh, hundredth birthday. I think he was right. on. Yeah. And then, I think we had the last interview with him. Oh, before he passed possible. away. Right. One of the last, if not the last. Yeah. Um. So we'd also like to thank all of the uh, donors um, above a certain level. Sean Kleefeld, Harry Mendrick, Tom Kraft, Matt Spiris, <laughs> Bruce Simon, Rand Hoppy. What? Who are these guys? Who are these people? <laughs> Steve Meyer, new edition. Thank you, Steve. Um, Todd Sicer and Ken Wong. Um, all uh, thank you so much. Here's what, what you know the, the page looks like if you go to kirbym.us slash e slash call. That will take you to this page where you can donate, uh, make a donation. And uh, again, we would, we, we're very grateful for everybody who's helped us so far. Don't trust that 701. It's up to 12, 7, 2, 750 or something like that now. Um, or you could text Kirby Collect to uh, 44321 using your text messaging service, and uh, you'll get a response. Um, this is some of the data work, right, Tom? Like, yep, like, uh, this is the extensive database. Oh boy, this is we're we're building a a, a catalog raisonné for Jack 
Um, so we're, we're we're building, expanding on all the work that's happened in the past from the uh, the, the, the Richard Kalkman's Ch Kirby checklist from Tomorrow's and things that uh, you know uh, Mike's Amazing World and Comics.org and and just and doing uh, and just looking at comic we, books, <laughs> looking at comics, going to the Library of Congress. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, there's a lot, lots of work going on. And this, this is a, a page of data from the digital archive where um, we're uh, building a searchable database of all of our assets in our digital archive. We've been um, scanning Jack Kirby original art f since when? Two thousand and six. Holy moly! Two thousand and six. <laughs> That's and all this coming data. up on twenty years, man. We've been scanning Jack yeah. Kirby art. It feels like it. <laughs> well, yeah, it does feel like it. So, yeah, so. Um, but you know, so all this great... data, all this data yeah. will be sucked into the future website, and mm -hmm. so you'll have a front end to actually sort and look at this data yeah. through the website. And here's a, a comp, a, a mock up of what what uh, a landing page might look like, right? Yep. Work and, in progress. Uh, you know, some an idea of what you might see as far as the the catalog raisin a um just just fantastic stuff sortable filterable um searchable so oh and even more so here, here's some of the results for new gods uh, we would not make all of the art available um you know we just have copyright concerns and you know, we'd make some low res things available and we'd also have, uh, you know, special levels where if you're a, a fancy member of the museum, you get more access, stuff like that. So um, we'll still we're still working on that. But anyhow, we'd 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 welcome your consideration for your uh, donations in, in that regard. I'd like to just add rest in peace. Uh, mention rest in peace. Um, Ken Thomas passed away. Oh, was, I uh, didn't know that. Yeah, he passed away about a week ago, I think. Um, mm. Ken was uh, a really well-known um, conspiracy theorist. I don't think he would call it that. I think he had another name for it, but I, had a good, I didn't remember what, what it was. He published a magazine called Steam Shovel Press. He was very accomplished well and well-known, and he was a really big Jack Kirby fan. And when I, uh, I had a, a Jack Kirby email mailing list back in the day, um that i ran and ken was on there and he was uh, a very uh a very nice and uh, um, uh he really he really appreciated jack and 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 understood the kind of things that jack would go through and um you know he was an advocate for jack he, and one of the funny things was he actually went and got some of jack's military records out of the he was an archivist and he got some of Jack's military arc, uh, records out of the archive. A lot of them were lost. There were fires. There were floods. But whatever he was able to find, he, he sent to me. And I think he sent a copy to Mark Evanier as well, too. So we do have that in our, in our archives. Thanks to Ken. Uncatalogued, unscanned, un, you know, analyzed. But it is, there is a folder in our archive from Ken, from the St. Louis archives. <laughs> so... Um, Thank, thank you, Cad. Um, rest in peace. Um, so let's. Um, you can hit, and and then there's this Jack Kirby guy. You could go over to our website, uh, our YouTube channel, and and watch some videos of Jack. Uh, there's a lot more than this. Uh, I just put these up because they're you know not TV shows or Entertainment Tonight or anything. It's you know there's an interview with Jack at his uh, at his home in on uh, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> in 1983. Oh, um, St. Patrick's Day! Wow, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, and uh, a, a, an appearance when he was promoting the uh, Art of Jack Kirby book with uh, Ray Wyman and and Roz. They they drove and they got in a van and drove to um, Palo Alto. And went to comics and comics comic shop so there's a nice half hour there and uh jack talking about captain america and on a panel at the pure imagination fun fair in troy michigan um 
back in 1988. So there's there's lots more than that. There's you know a lot the, the infamous radio appearances and all kinds of stuff. Really, just just dive into our YouTube channel. You won't you know you won't be disappointed. And and what, well, what else? We, there's seven different um, series that we covered from DC in the 70s. Um, Fourth World Summer. We covered the every issue of the Losers. We looked at the magazines that Jack did. Um, the first issue specials and random other stuff. Everybody's favorite Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter issue by Jack. Uh, <laughs> OMAC. Really great, great series. The Demon. And then we finished it up with Commandy. There's 55 videos. Oh, my God. I know. I counted them. <laughs> well, no. It probably adds up them, to at least 60 hours, if not more. Probably. You know, you want to listen to us talk about these things or turn off the audio and just look at the cool art, you know, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> um, there's also 24 videos that we did on, on a, on a uh, crazed weekend uh, back in 2020 um, for Jack's 103rd birthday. It was a wonderful, uh, wonderful guests and people. And uh, there's also a, a, a playlist called Jack Kirby Places where there's walking tours and and so on um to uh, you can see i mean mostly it's mostly um the east coast stuff um not not uh california um what what the heck else so here we are we're in Mar jack kirby marvel he's back at the 70s and back at marvel in the 70s we're looking at captain we did all, the whole captain america series wild crazy fun doughboy <laughs> doughboy come on <laughs> Who doesn't love Doughboy? Who? Do, how about that? How about this guy? This this uh, this cuttlefish. The cuttlefish. Yeah, this cuttlefish from space. <laughs> yeah, you only had a face on the cover. Yeah, the, 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 um, uh, kind of an indication, an impression of a face in that one panel. Uh, the swine, the devilfish. I mean, it's just fantastic, fun stuff. The Mad Bomb. Uh, yeah, the Mad Bomb story is awesome. The annuals. Um, and then uh, we, we before uh, taking up the eternal night we took people, a look. night people, brother yeah, like night Peach people. Pie. I don't know who was that his name, brother Peach Pie. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so here we are in the Eternals. I know it's it's twelve took twelve minutes for me to get here. I apologize to all of you. <laughs> You're all waiting for the Eternals. As Rand like donate money. And then thanks to all these people. All right. Well, we're going to move on. It's, right. it's kind of like when you go to the movie theater and you have all That's these right. <laughs> the previews. Yeah. Before. Has the show started yet? No, it's still watching commercials. <laughs> 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 oh, Mark, Mark made it. That's cool. Good to see you, Mark. Hi, BMC. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we've done um, two episodes of The Eternals. We did a little ramp up. Who are they? What are they? And we looked at issue one. Our last issue, our last show was uh, episode two, where we covered issues two and three. And, oh, where did we leave off? Do well, you remember? Icarus oh, was going to attack the Deviants in New York City. And, oh, and uh, yeah, Crow was like, look at me, I'm the devil. Yeah, he, set, he dressed himself up and he grew his horns because, right. as we right. learned, deviants can genetically modify their bodies to do yeah. anything, any form. Right? Yeah. So he's off. The, the, yeah, he's the deviants off. and their, 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 they have these, these people, these, uh, their soldiers kind of are mutates or something or, or attacking New York City. City blocks are in flames. All right. So then, so here we are. We're going to gonna dive in and uh, take a look at what Jack did here. Ready? I'm ready. Okay. So let's, 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 let's join the, hi everyone. It's us. Yes, we exist. We've been, we've been <laughs> hiding. We're, des we're just, we're not AI just talking in the background. Right. <laughs> It's it's me, uh, Bard, Bard, and ChatGPT. Bring <laughs> you <laughs> Kirby's Eternals. Anyhow, so here's the cover for issue four. Well, I like it. It's fun. Uh, and we have so issue four, no original art. 
Yeah, we don't have much in terms of original art either. I mean, in terms of, do we have pho photocopies? Yeah, I think no, I think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a so, void. It's a so void somebody must have the complete issue somewhere stacked right. away. It's safe, and yeah. So, so if you have it, let us know. We'd love to let, add it to our archive. Yes. <laughs> um, so it's fun to see the Eternals number four, New York City under attack. On the night of the demons, well, they change that around a little bit, so that's that's fun. But there's a guy in the foreground here on the right above the UPC. Yeah, that's cool. Now what? Right. So this is where we left off. So Icarus is flying over New York City. He's zooming. Zooming even. And he's like, I've got to, I've got to stop this. This is, uh, they are all getting caught up in superstitions. Oh, there's, yeah. There's because, there. because the deviants are responsible, as he says, for the devil myths. So they're using that to their advantage. Why, Rand? Because they want to get all the humans in a frenzy to attack the space gods. <laughs> You're right. That's it exactly. Because, <laughs> you know, that's... If when the space gods show up, you don't want you gotta have the humans attack them. It's true. Because, oh, because we're, because humans are superstitious and they're mm. they they're fear, fear for fit, they have a lot of fear, conspiracy theories, all that kind, kind of, of stuff. A, kind of a revenge thing for the for the deviants, though, right? Didn't they get yes, smashed? Yes, because you read about that. The third host. No, was it the second host? I think it might have been the second host. Okay. Yeah, they came and they destroyed. Dinner, I guess. Yeah. Okay. They destroyed their their city under, and they destroyed their city, and then it went underwater. Supposedly it became Lemuria, or whatever. which is yeah. which is a fabled like civil lost civilization. Yeah. 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 Which fits perfectly. You know that Jack read, so <laughs> he got. Oh yeah. This is a great great splash. Oh, it is. Yeah, big, I love this splash. Yeah. John reporting doing his thing. It's interesting to see they Jack indicated like, you know, credits here. So, so the question on this, we don't have this any indication of the circle like we had for the first two. I, I think he learned that that is not what's happening. I was wondering if that he was thinking that the first two would be one book and a, almost like a graphic novel or oh, something. Wow. Like start the series with a giant? Wow. Yeah. That yeah. Be, that would have been wild. Yeah. Hmm. Because he never he never has a chapter on the first page of two individual books. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good it's a good question. Maybe we'll look at it again. Oh, okay. So here we have something, a, a classic, right? Yeah, that's great. Yep. We've got two peep, two monsters in the foreground. With their <laughs> <mouths open. laughs> yeah, but you got to have the one on the bottom right. The, the one on the bottom right on the corner. I know. Yes. I know. Yeah. They always yeah. have to be there. Yeah. It really helps with the, you know, the depth. Yeah. Depth um, of field. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, That's one thing that was Jack was great at. So it's like, oh, you know, take him out. He's gonna stall our attack on the city. You can't kill him, but you know you can knock him out. Okay. Hello. So uh, we have that's pencils. great. Isn't that nice? Yep. Yeah. Very it's beautiful. Yeah. Look how much details in there. It's amazing that he could just draw this stuff you know what i mean it's just like he yeah. drew it apparently he just drew it like from you know he had the image in his mind it just was like mm -hmm. tracing it basically yep. Yep. you know what is this 19 yeah i mean it's, it's almost almost uh not almost like 35 years of comics right let me just get this really big yes 
Yeah. See, now, you know, the difference is that the top left, now it says Eternals, and he has in parentheses gods. Correct. Yeah, you're so right. I think that even supports a little more the idea that the first two were going to be like a jumbo big size. Because those mm-hmm. still, because they said Return of the Gods. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Alert, also... Great Crow. What? Who? Great crow. Oh, they're yeah. just they're just like firing at him because now they yeah. they see it and Eternal is there. Just want to say, uh, go back in time here. Irv Watanabe, uh, Marvel letterer, um, quite um, you know stayed true to Jack's script. Very nice. nice. Yeah, he gets he gets bonus points. He does. So yeah, so you know, they apparently it's like he blasts. He, he uses Icarus uses some I beams, as Eternal seem to have I beams available to them. And, then they uh, shoot a small missile at his forehead that won't kill him, but will blank him out. Well, yeah, something fixes itself to his forehead. Ouch! He's been hit by. It's called a brain mine. Oh man, he's gonna pass out. But then they <laughs> they grab him. Must pass out. Mustn't. <laughs> mustn't pass out. <laughs> <laughs> then they grab him. Brain mine taking effect. Sorry. I'm... <laughs> so yeah, he does. He's he. So he takes it. Uh, Crow is like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. At least he's out. Okay, let's still we're still gonna whip them whip those humans into a into a fury. Right. So take him away. Uh huh. So there's our there's our background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where shall I take him, Great Crow? Our raiding vessel waits offshore. Okay. So Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> we have good photocopies of this. This is, looks really good. I kind of, I think for both of these issues, we have two sets, a, a not great set and then a great set. Yeah, I noticed like, they did you know. they did that a lot. I wonder why. Yeah. They're not copies of copies. They're they're actually it just look like it. Yeah. No. No, because it has the same kind of background. So the, these yeah. copy, these photocopies are done in an old process, and right. you could tell the white is almost like chalk, a little bit like very white. And the back is well, unless they, they age, of course. And yeah. the back is like a creamy kind of, like cream color, basically. Yeah, light color. Oh, there's fireballs in the sky, going to hit the center of Manhattan, jumping Jupiter. Wow, they're making yeah. them run. Yikes. Ha, ha, they're scaring ha, them. Humans. Oh, boy. The downfall oh. is near. And then all the really super nerdy Marvel fans are like, there's Spider-Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's Thor? Where's Thor? Why why aren't the Avengers helping Man- oh, this attack in, in Manhattan? So we met so. Cersei in the last issue, and here she we is. Did. She's yeah. a very different woman than than what was in the uh, in the movie. In the movie, right? She likes playing right. jokes, turning people into pigs. She's funny. Yeah, Jack Jack actually writes her in a pretty funny. I, I, I know. I, yeah, <laughs> that's true. And uh, so she's with Margot, who's freaking Margot. out again. She seems to freaky freak out yeah, a lot. Her her dad she's... stayed behind in 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 with a, with it's... Ajax and in, in the Inca in the, of South America. In the, in the Inca ruins where they've yeah. sectioned it off in a big bubble where the yeah. gods are. He's, he's gonna spend the rest of his days uh, researching and translating. All this this fantastic material, and Margot's like, well, mm, now what? She's with Cersei. Um, Icarus brought her to Cersei. 
And then, uh, oh, hello, pencils. Yeah, there was this, <laughs> it's like, I'm not, not into, into Cersei's forehead here. It's nice to see that Jax looks a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, just, you know, they're interacting. Weird swoopy shadows and interesting sculptures in the background. It's just fun. And then she tries to, like, make her, you know, say that they're kind of similar. But, yes, right. but we have our own differences, my oh, we dear. we have our differences. And Little so she gives gives her history about yes, it was me who turned Ulysses and his crew into pigs. Yeah. Yes, it was me who. <laughs> I, I love I love this I love this that bit in the last Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> this could only be witchery. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> jealous, old soak. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say that, that back then, though. It doesn't matter. It's just hilarious. <laughs> What's cool is Fun the actual layout, you know, this layout where they're, they have a right. small panel on the left. It, it's very, I've never seen a layout like that before. Yeah. Yeah. The storytelling thing with the, with yeah, the kind of that's fun. Or side. Yeah. Usually and they Bob stick Shippen. her, stick her head in a, a, in a, in a dialogue thing. Right. Oh yeah. So Bob should be says, uh, Jack could capture so much emotion character the way he drew eyebrows. And that is very true. All right. Now what? Let's get out of here, Cersei. There may be more of them. And there are. No, oh, there they are. It's a flamer. There are more. The visit visitor has a flamer. Uh-oh. And she's like, all right, I'll deal with these people. Yeah, Mark, it did, I think it was a unique layout, that, that little storytelling thing. Kind of fun. Okay, so in an instant, a burst of energy engulfs the startled trio. Turns them careful. Into she's up to something. She turns them into a bunch of lizards. <laughs> it's great. I think I've improved their image. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cersei, it's horrible. Okay, and then she heads over to her her thirty-six uh, inch diameter vertical. FaceTime screen. <laughs> <laughs> and she detests to ask for aid. But I must bring these intrusions to an end. Yeah. Yeah. And where is she calling? On top of Mount Olympics? Olympus? Mm, okay. Nice. It's her city. Communication oh. device. Yeah. So now we're oh this is the craft that Icarus has been placed in with his his yeah in a tube brain mine yeah. yeah Icarus can sleep it for can millennia. operate for an eternity right he should sleep for a millennium mm. for millen okay. mill millenniums <laughs> yeah millenniums so then the uh, they shoot they eject him from the ship and he land his tube lands on the bottom of the mud in the muddy silt this great fish in the foreground it's great um but then what do we see it's it's ajak and his team and professor uh damien they're all they're all looking at icarus's tube and they're the the team is like we can we can release him right now instantaneously. Like, eh, <laughs> eh, let him let him sit for a while. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at the, the 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 fantastic you know his uh, Ajax fantastic helmet there. That's just amazing. His his big uh, contraption that that he's got. I wonder if it's really heavy, like you know, like it makes him his head go down all the yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> So Dr. Damien, that's Margot's dad. He's like, I can't believe this. All the the store, the things I'm translating, the things I'm reading. It's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, <laughs> yeah, we were here. They came here. They 
called me the, the, the Lord of Flight. They locked me up. The gods left. And we knew they were going to come back. Well, they're back. And then he's like, well, but what about my daughter? My daughter Margot is out in amongst all that shenanigans. And then he said, Ajax says, well, at some point the war, you know, the war is going to come here. Oh, yeah, they got yeah, your guys. Will your play. humans at full fury will swarm about this place, and you will know what they shall find. That's right. And then there it is. Some huge. A solder gun. <laughs> yeah, he's soldering, right? Yeah, some soldering. <laughs> Spot welding. You know, some Spot welding. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, what will humans do when they see them? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out soon. Holy moly. Olympia. There he is. Arishem. Yep, leader of the, the leader of the host. fourth host stands like a mountain above the Inca ruins. Wow. All right. He's they, are, on this. Mm. they are the eyes of a judge. Ooh, nice. Yeah. With a, a great, he's got great geometrical design on his trunks. Very cool. I like of the course. pencils so much better. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that works out, right? And of course, you can see that Jack had written Olympus. Huh. There's an S. Boop, 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 boop. Because Thor went to Olympus. Anyhow, so that's it for that first issue. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a good cool, issue. Just a big ramp up and. Kind of like lots of like explaino, you know, like what's really happening? I don't understand, you know. But anyhow, so here we go. Revealed in this issue, who are these people? Who's this guy that looks like Metron? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of a lot of Kirby dots, Kirby crackle. Steve Meyer, good to see you on YouTube. Yeah. Arishem's looking great. So, yeah, I mean, it's all kind of fun. Nice to see. What's interesting is there was, a, there was probably a first cover. Interesting. Unused. Uh-huh. Yep, somebody, somebody owns that, too, because it's been signed yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the other cover better, but hmm. the the one they publish, it, I kind of like it. I like all the dots and everything. Yeah, it's I like it's both, unique, but in a way that like Thena and Domo and Makari are are kind of like full figures, you know, mm -hmm. like they're not. There's not a lot of cropping going on which is interesting who's the dude in the middle at Ooh, the bottom red, the bot that's domo oh it's not it's not metron i swear to you and it's not it's not egghead before he got he started <laughs> having head problems <laughs> his head condition all right well we'll meet him in the story so here we are and it, oh look at mike royer is here hello hello everyone it's mike so that's nice. So Mike enters. He, yeah. And I think he yeah. does it right to the end. I believe so. Yeah. 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 So it's, what's so interesting is that this mirror is now a tiny mirror and the last and it's, the last episode is a really big mirror. It was. It it has it has gotten smaller. Yeah. Maybe she has another one. I don't know. <laughs> well, she was walking towards it. Yeah. <laughs> and the, of course, the, the, you know, a lot of people get a lot of mileage out of the, the, the exchange here, where she's like, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the oldest juvenile of all?" <laughs> and then Makari says, "That's funky corn, Cersei. I hope you have a less whimsical reason for contacting Olympia." So yeah, funky corn. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> <laughs> that's funky corn yeah so here's here's the original art it's pretty you can see that uh down the coloring and the consulting editor seem to have been whited out and changed so i think that might have been the transition from marv wolfman to archie goodwin um and you'll see on the next page which is the pencil that yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Mike Royer era. That's a good thing. Michael Hill on Facebook. And nobody does it like the king. This is very true. Ah, they would have made great action figures. That's true from that cover, those cover drawings. They were pretty nicely designed. Um, you can see it, Jack originally had created by, but then he added, created, written, and illustrated by Jack Kirby. Oh, conceived. Conceived, yeah. Conceived, conceived. written, and illustrated. So... You know, just to make sure that there's a presenter up top, but then there's a conceiver, writer, and an illustrator at the bottom. Okay, so. And, and, and it does say Olympia, but it kind of, I don't know. Was it erased and rewritten? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like there's some weird shenanigans going on with these pencils. Like they might have been erased and rewritten or something. I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, very nice. BMC Comics, first issue of The Eternals You Found. Gorgeous cover and art. Love, Royer. Yeah. What? Who is this guy? Way out <laughs> stuff. He's way out. Yeah, well, mm, he presented it, I guess. He, mm. <laughs> All right, this is a weirdly, kind of an odd issue because, we. I mean, we do have... I was a little bit under the gun, to, under you know, to, to, to pull the show together, and um, we, we we have pencils and we have um, original art, I think complete, but no spreads and no interior splashes. It's all huh. panel pages. Hmm. And you know, I like to present the. I like to I like to present, you know, larger larger things, you know, larger panels and stuff like that just cuz you know, you're looking at it on your phone, blah 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 blah. So, you know, it's just interesting that this issue there's no it's certainly action packed and and great, but not that broad visuals, you know, cinema cinerama, you know, like it's not the wide angle thing is is not happening in in this issue for whatever reason. It's a, it's still a good story. Okay, so yes, I have a human with me. She says, "Hmm." She requires uh, protection. Yes, we. I am honor bound. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Macaria is like, "Well, he has fast vehicles. Well, she can call me Mercury." We've learned to live with the speech impediments hmm. <laughs> that humans yeah. have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, and the deviants are everywhere, and the devils. Oh yeah, they're using mutates to panic the humans. And it's working. And they found an eternal, so they're going to be come back. That's for sure. And that's why I contacted Olympia. Cersei, look out behind you. And then, then one, more one deviants says, come in after. Yeah. And it says, Re "Remember the eternal's eyes; they can destroy." So they have, you know, Eternals have fantastic eye beams. Um, so Makari sees the capture. Deviant dog, you'll pay for this. You'll That's soon right. be begging for mercy. Yes. <laughs> She's talked enough, fool Eternal. That's right. So Makari goes running, and then we have this great panel of, of Olympus here. <laughs> Looks like super town to me, but I'm just talking. That's just my <laughs> tiny little brain. Anyhow, it's beautiful. Yeah, it does Love look it. like super town yeah. or, or New Genesis or whatever you want to call it. But I love, um, I love this one guy. He's like floating in the lotus position. Join me in meditation, Makari. Fleetness is not wisdom. <laughs> it's almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost what. 
It's almost like uh, the Jimmy Olsen. I think it was Jimmy Olsen one where Superman, I think it was 147, where oh, Superman, yeah. Superman goes, goes back goes, and yeah. they were all goes to um, New Genesis and everybody's like doing stuff like this. Mm hmm. So then he, he enters the Temple of Command, talks to this guy. So Donald, there's the who guy. Is not, there is, he is not Metron. I, I'm telling you. And he, uh, he, Makari tells him, hey, the deviants are out. They're, they're ca out causing trouble. Well, hmm, okay. They're out of their hole. They're out of their hole under the ocean. I demand to see the great one, Makari says. He says, I'd retire somewhere and dream up a more realistic reason for risk risking the great one's wrath uh, really flee you craven moral rebel oh boy rebel. Look, at this, look at this guy he's great looks like a gargoyle yeah it's and great. the cops are the cops are shooting another there's more keep firing okay now we're we're back with uh cersei and margo oh sorry and Oh no, it's Crow. She knows him. It's Crow, the deviant. Crow, the fake. And she, he grabs her face with his hand. Well, she's not going to stand for that. Nope. Turns his hand into My a hand, stump you change of it into a, no, a stump of twisted stump <laughs> of wood. That's right. <laughs> Undo this brazen deed, you defiant wench. <laughs> Undo this abomination, I say. <laughs> it looks no worse than your face, Crow. <laughs> ba boom. <laughs> For the kicker. <laughs> uh, and then it's like, yeah, well, their honor eternals are honor bound to protect those in their charge. So they start threatening Margot. And then it's like, okay, I turn your hand back. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> and, uh, take the take the females on board the craft, and then they take off, and then they go under down into the water. <laughs> Show what uh, John just did. Look at the. <laughs> it's it's almost bald on the cover, but has hair on the interior pages. That's the thing; he has a condition. He's going to become egghead. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Maybe he borrowed Stanley's rug. Well, the plug, you know, plugs, rugs. All kinds of things. All right, so we're we're the, the oh, so we're they're heading to the larger mothership. They the craft, the raiding craft, turns into a submarine and starts heading towards the mothership. Everything okay? I don't know. It's just a cop car <laughs> going down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I hear they found me in, in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, the deviants are in in um, <laughs> in my town. That's so uh, this is funny. I was I was gonna pull up a graphic from you know from the old days, but they're having a virtual kind of robotic fight <laughs> with the control. It's basically the Rock'em Sock'em robots, you know. <laughs> Tom, your ride is here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they're fight. Oh, oh, original art. Hello. Yeah, I opted because it was a large panel. I, I went for the original art. On, on for the That's pretty. Lovely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, good, good punch there in the lower right yeah that's cool so red red winds and father's blue has been beaten so what kind of calamity now domo why are you contacting me while i'm playing with dolls with my daughter oh, <laughs> fighting dolls but still 
Action figures. I'm sorry. All right. Robotic action figures. All right, fill my cup, Cena. So yes, ha ha, my my father. Glib tongue tongues usually make large requests. So yeah, what's happening? Well, an ancient plague has reappeared. The deviants are back. They're on the effect offensive, and they've captured Cersei. Hmm. Well, there he is. Big face. Big face. Interior splash. <laughs> In your face. That's pretty cool. That's great. Really nice inking, too. Blast this century of world wars, mini wars, and guerrilla wars. Are we now to revive the cosmic war? Nick war? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Mike Royer, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, doing that thing. That is indeed sensational. Yeah. Give me the details about what's happening and be forthright and accurate. Come on, man. And there's the pencils. It's cool. You can see Mike uh, Royer's little note at the bottom. Well, it's, it's Jack's note, and my, oh, it's Jack's, but oh, it's it. Jack's note, but but then uh, Mike yeah. lettered it. Yep. Yeah. Just to make sure that the team in New York got it. That's right. Even the pencils. Yeah. So then they're like. Still going on. The picture is clear, but now what? What has what has driven the deviants to terrorize the humans? See, they don't. They didn't. They didn't mention that. You know, to. I guess they didn't have a chance to mention that the gods were coming back. So they yeah. don't really know. They don't really point. know yet. Zuras and Thena, or Makari even. Right? They don't know. Yes. No, we don't know. They don't All know. they know is that the deviants are, are burning New York and they, they grabbed Cersei and you know and Margot, but they don't really know. So now what? Oh, and then Zuros get he explodes with rage and bolts of energy leap from his body. <laughs> <laughs> we made forever cha chained to the savage cousins ah. with whom we share this world. Father, you'll ruin the furniture. <laughs> I hate when he does that. He ruins all the furniture <laughs> like, and you have to go like... back to <laughs> Ikea and get new stuff. <laughs> That's right. We use nothing but flat pack furniture on Olympia. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what's happening? Oh, yeah. The scene is like we, the deviants must be taught to respect the Eternals. Well said. Okay, you two. Let's go. We'll leave at once. Right. Well, they get into a ship, a craft, and we cut to... They travel at the crow. speed of light. That's speed pretty light. fast. That's fast, man. They're going to travel fast. That's no Macari. protection That's either. His... He likes he likes fast machines. So they're gonna burn. We must burn this night into the memories of the inhabitants. Cower and cringe and call, crawl into your holes, worthless humans. <laughs> <laughs> We've come back from space to just reclaim the earth. We will be your masters. Oh, Lantern Zone, <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Technically speaking, <laughs> oh, there's some pencils too. Just lovely. Uh oh, it's Police Inspector James Fisher. <laughs> He's stepping up. Killing you always you have it's, you nothing. It's Your like, battle is lost. Like Turpin, you know, Sergeant Turpin. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he he's resistant to the deviants. That's right. You're a brave human. 
the next volley will will finish you. All Chilling right, me. let's give them the fight they're looking for. Then suddenly, boom, splash. Yeah. Oh, it's Thena. She's got a. She's got like a cosmic crossbow. Yeah. Gets gets knocked. They're flying around, and they they want to head towards the uh, the roof. Right. One tries to grab it, which was a mistake. Yeah. Uh oh. Do something, Makari, before we're swamped. Get ready for a sharp temperature drop. Push the button. <laughs> he, he, he freezes him. <laughs> wow, it's crazy. I, ice encrusted shapes of mutates begin to tumble from the sky. Athena's face looks weird on the last panel. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. It took it took intense concentration to endure that bit of whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing I'd like to repeat, but it did get us free of those ugly boors. <laughs> I can make out the leader. He must be one of the royal family. Uh oh. You think Darth Maul was a was a ripoff of Crow? Okay. Yeah. I could see why you'd think that. And then last page. At the Pentagon. Okay. Cut to the Pentagon. We've just come, these p images have just come in. They're unbelievable, astounding. Look at this. Alien vessel in fixed orbit. This could be the mothership of those devil, space devils at the bottom of the trouble in New York. So it's, it is. So, it's, go ahead. No, so it's, so it's working. Right. Deviant. <laughs> Deviant plan is working. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so there's a, a, and then what? This giant is was seen inside the transparent sculpture. He st structure. He's huge, man-like figure. Oi! All right. A giant. Well. A giant. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Mark. All right, so then, city, gods and men at City College. So yeah, that was that was uh, episode three, issues four and five, with some original art, photocopies. Um, we'd like to thank the Rosalind Kirby Family Trust for their support. We also want to thank uh, the Tomorrow's Publishing and Nostalgic Investments. They help us out a lot. We help them too. You can become a member of the museum. Uh, help us pay the bills, and uh, also there we do have a gift shop where we sell shirts like this. Like oh, this, I faded out. Look at that. All right, yeah. So buy shirts. Um, we will be at New York Comic Con um, at booth four five three nine. We'll have some new pins, new postcards, some prints. We will have shirts. Bring your Kirby art to the New York to the Javits Center and and uh, allow us to scan it. That would be great. We'll have our our professional scanner all hooked up and ready to go. That's right. So um, yeah, if you could please comment and like um, on on our videos and share them with your friends, uh, future people. We welcome you to to the show and also to do the same thing. Uh, ring the bell, take the notification, smash that like button. I don't know what I'm saying. You know what? I even heard of uh, somebody who I follow today said, hey, "If you didn't like the show, give us a thumb th thumbs down. It actually helps." Um, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, next week, we will uh, we'll take a look at issues six and seven. Looks fantastic. Um, all kind of, uh, all kinds of shenanigans going on with the Eternals. So we we <laughs> we, we love the Eternals. Um, all right, you're welcome, Michael and and Steve. And uh, that that is uh, the show for now. Yep. And um, we appreciate everybody who joined us, and we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, all I got. Thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm going to say goodbye. See you next week. Yep.